four, three, two, one. Crafting with cops. Welcome to Crafting with Koss, I'm Koss, and in this project I'm going to be showing you how I get the look of a high-end mirror using an affordable Walmart mirror. So the first thing that I did was measure the mirror and then I went to Home Depot and picked out some wood and got the wood cut there which is a great tip that if you don't have anything to cut wood at home that you can just go to your local home improvement store which in my case is Home Depot and they cut the wood um, there for you for free. I also used some upcycled tiles that I already had laying around. I also had three wood pieces used as support that you'll see during the assembly of the mirror. So this is actually my second attempt at trying to complete this project. The first time that I did it, I was finished and then I tried to clean it up with the vacuum and the vacuum fell on top of the mirror. So these steps that the rest of the video shows is the most efficient way on how I did the second mirror, learning from all of my mistakes on the first mirror. So go ahead and subscribe to stay updated to see how I transform the original broken mirror um, within the next couple of videos. So here I'm outside using an old hand towel and then using the hammer to hammer on the non-gloss side of the tiles. And it's actually best to use the hammer on the opposite end that I'm actually using it. So this step is optional but I brushed on some black grout onto the edges on some of the broken pieces of the tiles just to add some contrast on the mirror. So I used three wood pieces to support the structure and I couldn't get all of the pieces in the actual frame but I have two pieces on each end and then one in the center. So throughout this project, I used a lot of combinations of different books as well as magazines and cans and different things to add as weights to basically allow everything to dry overnight during the different processes of adding the different pieces to the actual mirror. So here I use some white premixed grout that I've used in one of my previous projects to basically just fill a couple of the gaps that were created when I put the frame together for the mirror. So I got already primed wood, but here I am just painting one coat of white paint just to make sure that everything has an even white coating. 
Here I'm using some E6000 glue on the back of the tiles to add to the frame of the mirror. 